chat chats come on in and sit for a spell sponsored by ever moving we rise moonlight potions and charms and saw ravencraft wizard for hire i am your goddess host miss nikki kirby and our co-host that chaos magician himself is somewhere around here his name is saw ravencraft how you doing saw i am fantastic nikki how are you doing today i'm great <laughs> oh it's been a very good very good day that's excellent what has made it so good for you i guess my trip around the sun again you know i just had a birthday oh yes happy birthday Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. So how is everything going for you? Well, uh, just uh, the compression toward the end of the year uh, beginning. Uh, there's holiday coming up. Uh, and uh, by the time uh, by the time this airs, uh, the holiday already will have happened. So all of the special family time with parents and all of that will have been done and survived and uh we uh we began the the movement into december which uh where i get a little bit of santa time which is fun uh but it's uh this is that that time of contemplation a time of figuring it out and uh deciding what next year is going to be and, uh, so always an interesting time yeah and i'll go ahead and tell you if you want to have a santa claus this year you call Saul. he's a very good santa okay. he, thank you he looks like santa i mean he looks like santa i've seen him in his costume and you can't tell the difference between Saul and santa claus he <laughs> looks just like santa so you want to know what our divination is for today? Absolutely. All right. And this comes from Paul Pastorit. And everybody knows that we have our tea time right now. And so, and my teapot is positive energy tea from yoga. Or is it yogi? It's, it's, it's something like that. Honestly, I don't, honestly, it's, it begins with a Y. So there you go. Um, very good advertising. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into me. I'm just having a good time. So here is our divination for today. If you think dogs can't count, try putting three dog biscuits in your pocket and then giving Fido only two of them. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They will tell you. Okay. Where the hell is my third? Where the hell is my third? <laughs> you know you got a third one in there, and they'll tell you which pocket it is, too. And they will hound you for it. They will definitely hound you for it. Mm -hmm. This is true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those little varmints will hound you for it. They also know the difference, and cats do this too, when you push the clock back forward or behind, because it doesn't matter. 
even though like this time we pushed the clock forward and they say okay we have to wait to five o'clock but yet we get fed at four it's four o'clock but yet it's, we're supposed to wait to five no 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 it is still supper time right here <laughs> right now why do we have to wait another hour still supper time our uh, cats decide their own time so we don't we don't have a set time that they get fed they let us know when they want some food and we give them some food and they just kind of self-manage oh not not ours mm -mm. <laughs> not ours all right so we want to get into our topic of discussion today oh you betcha what's going on today all right so i've decided not any, people don't discuss this at all so our topic for discussion is birthday magic oh we want to talk about birthday magic all when right i was a so, kid birthdays were were magical i mean it was it was one of the times that was centered on you and what you wanted and or you know in many cases you got to pick the theme of your birthday and and that sort of thing uh birthdays at this stage of life uh, are not necessarily as spectacular uh because <laughs> there's usually stuff to do you don't necessarily get to to let the world revolve around you on that day uh you gotta do what's on the calendar why not really? well, I, i'm asking you why not why why is the magic lost as you grow older well because it's less of a celebration i think you know there's there's something wonderful about all the the presence and the focus and the and uh you know getting to do something special for you uh i guess as you grow up you you kind of get to eat where you want when you want anyway so there's not necessarily anything super special there uh i don't know your mileage may vary for me uh birthdays are typically work days so it's not a not a big thing for people that that they get the big thing then i guess that's that's more potent well birthdays are the days where you treat yourself right if you got the time well that's the reason why you take the time you know if you don't take the time to reward yourself then what's the point a paycheck <laughs> well i'm talking about yeah a paycheck but the thing about it is Here's the thing, you're going to burn yourself out. And you need, we always talk about self care, right? Mm hmm. Right? This is a good, a birthday is a good time to turn around and do self care. So, it's how did you, how did you exercise this for your birthday? Well, you know, the thing about it is, I've always loved my birthday. I call it the holy day. I always do. And people say, oh, that's very narcissistic of you. I don't give a shit if you tell me that. I really don't. Because that is my day. That is the one day out of the year that I can say it is mine. Screw you. It's mine. I don't care. <laughs> because everybody has every other day of the year. People have Christmas. People have um, Yule. People have, you know, everything else. This day is mine. Screw you. This day is mine. This is my day. I've always taken it off when I've worked. It doesn't matter how my bills are, anything. It's my day. It's the day that I go and save up. I go do something that I want to do. Because I am not a millionaire. I'm not extremely wealthy. Or anything like that but if there's a place that I want to go see or a movie that's coming out that I want to go see or 
something that I particularly want to do with a bunch of friends, or if there's a dinner or a place or something that I want to eat that I don't get to eat hardly any, ever, that's the day I do it. If I want to have a massage, that's the day I do it. If I want to have a reading, a particular type of reading, I'm not talking about a card reading, okay? I can get that any day. I'm talking about the reading of all readings. Like if I want a particular type of phone reading or if I want a particular type of reader, yes, that's the day I'll go get it. If I want something in particular that is special to me, that is the day I'll go get it. That is a treat. Because if I don't treat myself, guess what? I'm going to wear myself out. And I'm going to be wore out. I'm going to get depressed. I'm not going to want to do anything. I'm not going to want to get out of the bed. I'm going to be so wore out and tired and I'm going to look at the world like I'm a victim and I'm not going to be positive and I'm not going to have any energy and I'm going to say fuck the whole world all the time that is the reason why you take that one day and you take that one day off and you tell everybody to go to hell and you just do whatever you want that sounds very wise well, it is. You know, I, when I was married, my ex-husband ruined it every single year for me. He did. He did his best to ruin it because he wasn't the center of attention. And I got tired of it. Don't let anybody take that away from you. Just don't. Especially if you're a person who goes and does things for others and you work hard every day to help others to try to help your family to try to help yourself and especially if you don't ask for anything in return you think that one day and that is yours and you don't let anybody take that away from you and you celebrate it however you like. Sure. There. That's the reason why you celebrate it, Saul. So that's the reason why you tell everybody to kiss your ass. That's it. There. All right. Because you know what? When everybody comes into the world, that is a blessing when everybody comes into the world. We're all um, a piece of spirit, and we ought to celebrate that. Plus, it gives us a new start on the on another year. Sure. Ah, so there you go. <laughs> So for those uh, new to this idea, what uh, what kinds of things should they be doing to to do that self care? Well, you know they can plan whatever they want to, but there's also magic to be done on your birthday, and um, and it can only be done on your birthday. It can't be done the next day or the day before. Or two weeks after, it can only be done on your birthday. And it's only a ritual that you can do. And most of the time, the ritual can be created by you. Everybody's ritual is personal. Me, I do um, a couple forms of divination. I also like the birthday candle. Did you know the birthday candle is a ritual? I did not. Yes, it is. And it's not just the one with the cake. Um, you can do one by yourself um, on your altar as well. 
But the birthday song is actually a copyright song that people are not supposed to be singing. Because they're supposed to be paying someone every time they sing the damn song. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that. I've, uh, I've heard stories. I don't know who you're supposed to pay, but, you know. You know how many versions they are to that damn song. I mean, shit. Yeah. It's all been around since what? The 1800s? Um, well, no. If it's under copyright, it would have to be sometime after 1924. Yeah. But I'm not even sure if that's true, but they keep saying that it's true. And I'm like, well, you know, that person's really getting screwed. <laughs> <laughs> How fun. How fun, yeah. <laughs> ah. The birthday magic. Tell me about the birthday candle on the altar. Well, let's go ahead, and this is a good time. Let's go ahead and take our break to listen to our sponsors. And when we come back, we'll talk about birthday magic. Anybody can tell you what is on a tarot or oracle card. What matters is seeing beyond what others may not be able to see and help the client to uncover what lies in the mist. What do readings from Moonlight Potions and Charms do? Wednesday I did this ancestor reading and it was an amazing reading. And it was a detailed reading and I remember talking to this customers ancestors and it was so delightful and he wanted some questions to be answered about the magic in his family because he didn't know and his family was mostly like most of our families are you know how everything is like hush hush when it comes to the magic in his family and he wanted to know who can he actually talk to about the history of the magic in his family? And I was able to give him specifically who he can go to to talk to about that. What particular deity he can actually go to to be able to help him with this. And it was just an amazing reading and, and talking to his ancestors. They were such a delight and they told me so much about this customer. It was just an absolutely wonderful, wonderful reading for him. And I was just so happy to be able to give him this wonderful reading. It's really amazing to be able to give people these readings, these products that's really going to help them and be able to give back to the community because this is what Moonlight Posters and Charms is about. We want to help you to embrace the power of your own magic. That is what we are all about. It's to help you to do that. Book now and allow our wonderful staff to take care of your spiritual reading needs. And there is so much more in our Wicked store to help you to embrace the power of your own magic. So come on in to Moonlight Potions and Charms at www.moonlightpotionscharms.com and discover the wicked things that ignite the magical passion in you. I'm Sol Ravencraft, co-host of Witch Hat Chats. I understand just how confusing and chaotic it can be to open to a path of magic and manifestation. Everything seems to turn on its head. I want to be an ally as you find the way upon your path. My studio setup will let us do readings, coaching, and exploration virtually, just as though you were sitting across the table from me. One size does not fit all and we will work together to craft the right approaches to build your practice your confidence and your power using the tools of divination magical works and spirit connections 
it's never too late to embrace a new path and emerge empowered. Go to TexasMojoMan.com and select Contact to begin. There's a message now. Let's get started working on your very good fortune. Have you wondered what spirituality is? Spirituality is limitless, as it does not contain any boundaries on beliefs or practices. Spirituality's most important component is personal experience and allows one to explore it freely. Every Moving We Rise is a spiritual moving tradition, as our name is our lifestyle because we are persistently rising and moving forward. We realize that everyone's spiritual journey is extremely personal, but more easily traveled with reinforcement. We'll teach you to become friends with your shadow, emerge your authentic self, and give you time and space to develop your own spirituality. And when situations bump back, you'll have the entire community behind you, as we are a magical family who work to sustain each other. Discover the benefits of working within a society dedicated to helping you grow on your personal path. Visit us on our website, Linktree, or Facebook page and discover why we don't fit in the box. Welcome back to Witch Hat Chats. It is I, Soul Ravencraft, and I am here with Miss Nikki Kirby. We are talking about birthdays, birthday magic, and uh, the birthday candle on your altar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what I do is every year I select a certain candle and I always burn it down. But with my candle, I select the candle. I use a particular oil every year. And I think about what I want to accomplish in the year coming up. That's what I think about. And that is how I choose my oil. And I truly sit down and really, truly think about it. Because this is something that is a goal that you want to accomplish. So with a goal, you have to set little accomplishments in there. And you have to really, really think about it. It's not something that, you know, oh, I like to have that, I don't know, biggest TV, you know, for for my birthday and get that next month. It's not one of those type of candles because you're talking about one of those great big ones. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Not the little mm-hmm. teeny tiny ones. We're talking about with the great big ones, you know, a seven sure. day candle is what I'm talking about. And I take the oil. You can also use herbs if you want to. But I take the oil and I put it, put the oil, fix it with the oil on it. And if you want to, you can also use um, symbols and carve that in there and everything in there and all that other stuff. And then on the morning, of your birth you sit there and you hold the candle and then once you have it your intention clear in your mind and you have the picture clear in your mind you light the candle and then you release that magic and you let that candle burn all the way down. You may have to let you may have to cut it off and then relight it several days afterwards. Don't blow it out. Just take something and put over it. Or you can take your fingers, lick them, and you know, 
spit out the flame that way. I wouldn't advise that because that can hurt. Um, but like I said, just yep. My little silver candle snuffer. Yeah, you can do a candle snuffer. I've got a, a little jar piece I put over mine. It's always a little bit easier, but do not blow it out. Anyway, let it go all the way down. And then once it's all the way down, you can either use it in a personal mojo bag, the leftover wax, if there's any. Or you can um, recycle it into another candle that you'll make. Or you can do a bunch of other things with it. Whatever you want to do with it. It doesn't matter. Me, I encourage you to, to try to reuse the wax in some other form. Because I'm really big in recycling. Recycle, recycle, recycle. That's what I'm really big in doing. So try to recycle that. So that is one form of magic that you can be able to use for your birthday. And what's an example of a uh, of an intention and oil or herb that you have used on a birthday candle? Well, with my birthday candles, I always <laughs> I always go to Dorothy Morrison's. Um, wish candles and i've always used her wish um oils and she's at um what is it wicked witch studios.com i use hers every year because i started that long before i even did moonlight potions and charms and that's been my tradition with her and um one year i think I told her that I just wanted to be able to start my own business. And guess what? Moonlight Potions and Charms came up. I started my business. There we go. And so that happened in 2019. Right. Along with everything else that started up. <laughs> and then um, one year I was homeless and... Um, this was the year that I had a candle that I didn't really have perfected my, um, ritual yet, but I had kept it and I had put it out for the day and I decided to write, read, light it. Now, when you're on the outside and you're homeless and you still have a car, but you light it on the outside and I just wanted a home. I got it. That's what I wanted. So mm -hmm. I got it. That so let's talk about divination. So there's two types of divination that I usually do. I usually do cards, which is one. And then, but the one thing I really want to talk about is numerology. So that is Saul's big thing too, isn't it, Saul? Well, I uh, I certainly dabble a bit. Dabble. Look at him. He says he <laughs> dabbles. You know, it, he is so full of shit. He does more than dabble. <laughs> like he dabbles in Tarot. He's so full of shit. I want to just smack him in the back of the head there. Tell him he doesn't just dabble. Okay. So... The day this is going to air is, let's let's bring up our whiteboard. So we're going to bring up a whiteboard here. So we're going to start with the date, which is going to be 11 plus 26 plus 2023. 20, okay, and see what that equals. And that's going to equal 80. So what we want to do is we want to make it down to the lowest thing, which will be eight. Yay. That will be our number. Yay. So since Saul is dabbling, 
into numerology. Can he tell us what does the number eight mean in numerology? Well, eight is the number of resource, resourcefulness. It connects with wealth. It connects with economy. It connects with using what you got to do what you can. Uh, when eight is uh, prevalent, then then it's a, a year of uh, potential prosperity. Um, it talks about focusing on what you what what your resources are so uh, if you're say working on a business then that's going to be a year of evaluating where you are of investing time and and effort and and whatever else you got going on uh, money maybe into bringing about what you need to bring about uh, it's it's uh, it's a planting season, I guess you would say. Yeah. So what this is representing is the upcoming year um, for you. Actually, let's see. Actually, I should have probably put twenty twenty four, shouldn't I? No, it's the last. No, twenty three. Yeah, for That's this year. For this year. So this is what's going to represent for your year that's coming up. So, I mean, eight represents balance in the material and spiritual world. It represents termination, transformation, hidden power, prosperity, growth, and abundance. Really. Right. It's the symbol of infinity and recycling traveling path of energy is what it represents. So this is really a very good sign for if you have a birthday on the 26th of November, 2023. So this is a good, very, very good sign for you. So that's what it represents in numerology. So that's your divination for today. So number eight means justice. Yay. You got justice. So. Mr. Saul, the one who dabbles in everything, because he's chaos, so he's a dabbler. I just, I just, I just don't like arguing with people. So <laughs> he's full of shit. He loves arguing with people. Um, <laughs> what is your opinion on justice? Well, I think we should have some. Okay. Well, I mean, justice is is not necessarily something to to be afraid of. Um, a lot of people immediately associate it with with justice coming down on you, but justice is really about what we agreed to. It's the promises that we made, and the promises that were made to us, and we should uphold our promises. We should do what we agreed to do, and if we don't. Then, then there has to be some restitution of some sort. But it's also appropriate for us to expect, for us to demand that what was promised to us is fulfilled. Uh, right. So I think as long as people are, are honorable about their promises and they, they do their best to keep their word, then, then justice is not something to be feared. But if you're playing games or you're getting greedy or you think you can game the system or something like that, uh, then justice is there for you, <laughs> uh, no matter which side you're on. But we have to we have to call for justice. Justice is not necessarily automatically granted. Uh, we have to petition for justice uh, because if we don't ask for the agreement to be honored, then we get what we get, right? Oh, yeah. When it comes to justice, justice is a two-way sword. And justice is blind for a reason. And you have to make sure that 
if you're involved in it, your side is clean. That's what I tell my clients. You make sure your side is clean. Because if your side is dirty, you're still part of it. <laughs> you're going to get you're going to get that, you know, that part of the justice portion too. Um because we both have to the thing about it when it comes to two people arguing, everybody plays their parts. Everybody does. Even when it comes to our government, both sides have their own plays. Everybody plays their parts. And as I grew older, I understood that. You know, nobody is without blood on their hands, as they say. But we do need justice because we do need to have people to come back to harmony. That's the only way we can have harmony. Right. And um, and that's the only way we can have balance again. Right now, our world is so imbalanced. Oh, my oh. God. We're having two wars on the other side of the con of the world. Right. Over what? Nothing. Over land? Really? I mean, come on. Um, and over religion? Really? Please leave them alone. Over here? It's over money. And I'm sorry, it doesn't matter whatever else you want to say, it's over money. Everything comes down to freaking money. That's what it's over. Because they don't want to share. We just need to be able to come together and put your bull crap aside and just come together as people. And that's what I call justice. Sit down and let's grow the hell up. <laughs> you know, you know, um, a few weeks ago when um, a certain party couldn't decide um, who was going to lead their people I was kind of I was kind of ag agitated and I'm like just shut the hell up and grow the hell up that's it that's it if we would stop acting as children and just grow the hell up and put our biases aside then we can get something done That's all we need. The one thing that we need to teach is to value ourselves first. Because if we don't value ourselves, we don't have self-confidence. We don't have self-awareness. We don't have awareness. We can't be aware of anything else if we don't have self-awareness. And then the second thing we need to teach is awareness of others, value of others. And that's the second thing that needs to be taught. And once those two things are taught, then we can be able to sit down. And I don't think we even need a table between us, okay? Let's take the damn table away from us. Let's sit down on the floor like we did when we were kids. Have nothing between us. And talk. You remember when we were kids? So, you know, in, in kindergarten, I don't know if they no, had kindergarten. No, I, I have no memory of, of my childhood. It was too long ago. I oh, just I remember know. the dinosaurs and I miss them. Oh, you were with um, um, Pebbles and Bam Bam. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when we all sit in a circle 
and we and we just had time to ourselves and it was like a either we were learning our abcs or we we're in a story time or whatever let's sit down on the ground for god's sakes like kids and have that time again and maybe we can be able to actually do something right all right well that was deep <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we are yeah all righty well that's all for our show today so embrace your power support your community and keep your fuzzy babies your friends your family and yourself safe and have an absolute magical week we'll see you next time well, i know some people who like to chat i think they're witches how about that and every sunday at 12 o'clock and if you're hurting they're willing to talk nikki Kirby Blackstone I agree Every moving we rouse Laughing so Will the beautiful mind I give you blessings On the moonlight I know some people Who would like to chat I think they're witches How about that Every Sunday at 12 o'clock And if you're hurting, they're willing to talk